promoted by strong balance sheet, quality of earnings and reasonable growth. Bharat Electronics offers good value in light of market volatility and attractive valuations. At the current market price, the stock is trading at 17 times its FY23 estimated earnings, along with a dividend yield of close to 3%. Valuations also look reasonable on the back of improving business and growth opportunities. Barring the issue of semiconductor shortage, the company has overall seen an improvement in execution and speed of collections. In the December quarter, it witnessed a good 62% year-on-year growth in revenue on the back of improving execution and non-defense segment delivering higher growth. Improving execution is the single important factor that will drive earnings and valuations higher. Currently, the stock is available at a 40 to 50% discount to its peer group and a 70% discount to private players like MTAR and Data Patterns. Growth has kick-started and it will only get better once execution-related issues ease in the coming months. Bharat Electronics, with close to 80% market share in the defense electronics space, has seen a good jump in orders. During the December quarter, its order book grew by 15% on a year-on-year -year basis. Currently at 56,000 crores, it is at a lifetime high and more than four times its annual revenue, providing greater revenue and earnings visibility, especially in light of improving execution. Interestingly, the size of opportunity is quite large and the pool is only expanding with governments increasing emphasis on local manufacturing. Domestic procurement has already picked up with the government now banning many products that were earlier imported. Approximately, domestic procurement has inched up to around 66 to 68% currently as against 54% in FY20. Many defence projects were delayed because of COVID-19 and economic hardships last year. Large programs such as QRSAM worth 30 to 40,000 crores, Akash Missile worth 4,500 crores are now expected to resume awarding and companies like BEL will have a large role to play. Apparently, the company also indicated similar views and expects order book to jump substantially in the next two years. Apart from that, projects from the non-defense portfolio, whether it's railways, medical, metros, e-charging, EVM and many others will continue to support growth. Now, these segments will not only aid growth, but also lead to higher earnings as a result of better margins. The share of non-defense portfolio, which is at around 22% currently, is expected to reach at least 23 to 24% by the end of 2024. Overall, with improving execution, strong order book and relatively better margins, earnings trajectory looks fairly good. Here in the first nine months of this fiscal year, BEL reported a solid 243 basis points improvement in EBITDA margins. In fact, in the December quarter as well, EBITDA margins were up to 74 basis points, coming in at 22.4%. And we believe margin expansion along with high execution would be key in driving the earnings higher.